parasites um, deprive you of what your body needs to survive because they eat your food basically you put something in it and the parasites eating it that's why people with tapeworms will lose weight because the tapeworm is a parasite and the tapeworm is ta taking all your nutrition everything you eat the tapeworm takes snatches away it eats it okay so when you look at cancer cancer cells are mutated your own cells that are mutated and they actually take away the nutrition and the energy from your normal cells and the cancerous cells use them. So cancer is you attacking yourself. It's not, we all know cancer is not contagious, but it's not something that just randomly manifests. It's because usually women who get breast cancer, they have a big heart, but guess what? The heart is too big. The heart chakra is too big. They give too much to other people and not enough to themselves. Then you can look specifically at different organs and places where it manifests and you can see how someone is giving too much to other people, depending on where it manifests in your body. So cancer is self-induced. It's not something, and if, if people, when people say that it's um, genetic and it's passed down, well, that goes into past lives and you know, you having the genes of your mother and recycling and stuff like that, like um, past lives and reincarnations. Okay, so um, let's see what's another one autoimmune diseases. Your body's attacking itself. If you're too self critical, okay, you always you're replaying those words that you've learned as a child that say you're not good enough, you're not worthy, and you keep playing that in your head and acting out of it, guess what happens? You go into autoimmune, and autoimmune diseases are so prevalent, okay? So that's self-attacking. So any kind of um, a cold, let's talk about a common cold. Common cold is just you not taking care of yourself and resting. And many times we manifest diseases because your body is like, okay, I got to do something to get her to sit or he, he, he or she to sit down and relax. Okay. When you get a cold, what's the first thing you want to do? Or the flu. You need to sleep. You want to sleep. Okay. And you stay in bed. So guess what that does? It forces you to rest. But this is where people mainly fail. They don't take that time of rest to reflect on what they've been neglecting as far as themselves to get in that situation in the first place so bed rest shouldn't just be oh I'm just gonna sleep all day exactly you get forced into self-care and that's where the message comes in the divination divination is a message from the divine okay a message from the gods a message from the deities a message from your higher self a message from your angels, your guides, whatever you call them, okay? However you see it. So instead of just wasting that time by just sleeping and whatever, yes, you sleep, yes, you rest, yes, you nourish yourself and take care of yourself, but guess what you should also be doing? Reflecting and saying, what got my body in this state in the first place to where I was required to rest? That's the key. Yes, you take your supportive herbs. Yes, you drink your water. Yes, you eat your healthy foods. Yes, you use your crystals. Yes, you use your sound healing and all that. But guess what? You're going to be perpetually doing this stuff until you get to the root, which is the energy, which is the thing that caused the imbalance in the first place. So you could um, theoretically never have a cold, never have the flu, never manifest any disease if you're very proactive about your energy and protect it meaning you take rest when you need to share with your followers and your social network and everything by swiping right and left and then you'll see where it says share because people need to hear this you know so if anybody you know specifically who needs this invite them specifically or just share with your network generally okay I really appreciate it and thank you so much for the hearts so if you are proactive about your energy and protective of it, you are always in a state of meditation. You're always in a state of connection to your, my hair falling apart. You're always in a um, state of connection to your divine higher self. You theoretically will never get sick. 
and the reason why it's in theory is because it depends on what you do how um very um i see it took me getting violently ear three years ago to finally start going thin i'm still going thank you i'm so glad for that i'm so glad to hear that you know you have to go within yourself and stay connected all the time and that's very possible it takes devotion and dedication it takes you saying to people you know i can't do that because that's going to deplete me of my energy you know it takes you saying yes to you you know people i i, I tend to try to use the positive rather than the negative when saying things, you know, you hear people encourage you to say, say no to other people. Learn how to say no. Learn how to say no when people demand you to do things that, you know, you can't do and try to um, over demand your time. I like to say it in the positive. Learn to say yes to you. My favorite mantra right now, my favorite sound, words, um, song to listen to right now is Say Yes by Floetry. And, you know, a lot of people think that it's about sex and, you know, it's about, you know, seducing a man or allowing a man to seduce you or whatever but i don't hear that when i listen to it. i mean it could it definitely could be applied on that level but to me music is multi-leveled just like we're multi-dimensional beings music is multi-dimensional you listen to it all the time girl yes when you listen to that listen to what she says actually i think in the remix it's the one that not the remix but it's a live version from new orleans i don't think they say this in the radio version or the album version but she says um at the beginning she says all you have to do is choose how you want to be and she says i want to be happy so a choice is what needs to be made and then you say yes you say yes i want to be happy and then you say what's going to make me happy is going to make me happy to take you know care of my sister-in-law's kids on friday when i really want to go out or should I say yes to her and say no to me? No, you say yes to you and say, I have to go, I have to go somewhere. I have to do something, you know, for me. Um, when someone asks you to take on extra work that you you know that you you overwhelmed now, you say yes to you getting, you know, the time you need to do something that you enjoy. When someone invites you out to a nice dinner, instead of saying no automatically, I don't have the money, you just say yes, and you allow the universe to help you manifest the money for you to go do what you want to do, okay? You know, constantly saying no to yourself closes off all avenues, closes off all ways to get what you want. So start saying yes to yourself instead of saying no. So... Thank you for the hearts, green hearts. I love them. So, um, yeah. How did I get on that part? I don't know how I got on that subject, subject, but I guess it all goes together. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all today. I am available um, for um, coaching. And the reason why I think coaching is so important is because it gives you someone to, to see what you don't see. There's so many things that we don't see um, that are going on with us. And many times, especially an intuitive coach like myself, can see into what's going on with you. Because a lot of times we suppress things because they're too painful to deal with. And it's a protective mechanism, especially when we're children. We have suppressed things that are very, very painful. And now that we're adults, we're living out of that energy that's been hanging around in our auric field forever, for decades, many times. Uh, an intuitive coach or an intuitive healer, which I am both, can go in and say, hey, you got this hanging out here. And this happened um, when you were three or when you were five. You know, your parents, um, I'm serious, like even your like money blocks, people who um, can't seem to break through certain levels of income. It's usually because you're telling yourself no and you're telling yourself there's only so much to go around. There's lack in the world when the universe is abundant and expansive. There is no lack. So many times we're programmed by our parents who tell us money doesn't grow on trees when it does because it's made out of paper and paper trees are paper you know you get paper from trees so how does money not grow on trees it does and who tell you who tell you no all the time who say no you can't have you know the brand name cereal 
or no you can't have that toy or no 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 to you know whatever it is you ask for and you're constantly you grow up with that mentality that no is the answer so you grow up telling yourself no you grow up saying I, I don't I shouldn't go for you know what I really want I should get the discount I should get the clearance rack I should get the less than instead of saying yes to yourself so this is about reprogramming so my coaching it's it's diseases like being anxious being tired all the time having frequent colds frequent sinus infections sinus infections means you're completely um disconnected from your higher self um headaches have to do with being disconnected from your higher self toothaches have to do with being disconnected to your higher self so <clears throat> things in your head basically higher self spirit realm all that good stuff I spoke to my spirit committee and I asked to be guided into more self care and your scope came on 30 minutes like mm, won't it do it won't she do it won't they do it see <laughs> it works like whatever you ask for it you know it will be provided you know whatever it is that you need so I am available right now for um, coaching my package that I offer now is four weeks and they are 350 a session fourteen hundred dollars for the four weeks um, all together and yes you can make payments of 350 per session if you need to um, the reason why I do four weeks is because it takes approximately 21 days to um, form a good habit because now we if we're sick if we're tired if we're broke lonely whatever it is we've been living operating out of our bad habits so coaching gets you into a mindset of getting forming good habits okay and I add the extra days on there just to make it stick just in case we have some setbacks okay so 30 days is good to work out many of our minds and I'm not saying that it only takes 30 days but to get us started 30 days is a good start um, many and there's many levels once you have got broken through one ceiling then there's another ceiling to break through but you definitely want to start somewhere you definitely want to begin somewhere to get on the path you know and if you're already into holistic methods and already into herbs crystals sound healing things like that then you're already on the path so let's keep going evolution is like ever never ending you just keep going and keep rising and keep elevating and up leveling okay until you're satisfied with where you are and then you sit there for a while and then you up level again okay so I have those packages available my website is going to be launching on was it March 10th okay and it's gonna be it's already already got the domain and everything I'm just not going to launch it until then because that's the day I'm choosing for energetic reasons um, it is www vibrational alchemy life dot com vibration is frequency it is movement it is who we are it is what makes the world do what it do okay alchemy is change changing things from what they are now into what you want it to be and I like to use the word command and decree and make things the way you want them to be so nobody wants to be sick I, I can guarantee you the only people that want to be sick are people who want attention and that's a valid want people should want attention okay so when I say that if someone like what do you call it Munchausen's yeah who had who are always creating diseases there are people who create diseases so they can rest like I said about the the cold you manifest that you create that so you can get some rest there are people who create broken limbs so they can get rest I've had a patient tell me you know I never would get any rest if I hadn't broke my leg and she knew it she knew that's why she broke her leg I mean I'm not saying she like went out and purposely broke her leg she knew it after the fact that that's why it happened I was like wow that's insightful and this is before I even knew any of this stuff she said that and I was like that was deep you know 
So you will manifest an illness to get, you know, the rest and the time that you need to take care of yourself. She even said, I'll take care of everybody else. And now I'm having to have people take care of me. You don't want that. You, you much rather.